Hi guys, hope you're all well, it's me, it's Tom. Welcome to the channel and welcome to this video of Opposite Ends. Thank you for watching it. Um, again, me and Elliot still can't meet up because of the pandemic, so we're releasing an old episode that we never actually released before. The reason we didn't release this one is because Elliot's camera is slightly blurry. I'm sorry, my only excuse for that is that I pay more attention to the camera that's on me when I'm setting it up and I didn't pay attention enough on his one. Uh, but it's fine, it's certainly fine, and it's a very funny episode, so I hope you enjoy it. We Basically, I tell a story of a really awful thing I did with my grandma, and then we talk about what advice we'd give to each, um, each other if we could go back in time to when we were 10 years old. And this is a question that was given to us by uh, Raina Hilo, who um, responded first uh, in, our, in our video about um, what would you do if you were a woman. There you are again, uh, Raina. Um, I told you I'd, we'd do the... We do the question, and we did. So here we are. If you'd like your question answered, then comment below, and we'll try and answer the question. If not, just smash that like button, or subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. If you have, thank you very much. That's all for me. Hope you enjoyed the pandemic. Cheers, opposite ends, bye. But it's three hours, and I was like, well, that, that's just ridiculous. Yeah, it's inconvenient. It's inconvenient, it takes a whole day, it, you know, it's it's yeah. silly. So I get I get why people do it. So, but just, you know, it's it's kind of a scummy move. Yeah. I think if I was caught fly tipping, I wouldn't do it, but if I was caught doing it, I would feel, the sun just got really bright. Like, do you feel like, do you know like we've been saying, fly tipping's wrong and God has just gone, you're correct, my <laughs> May the blessings of the day be upon you. Yeah, you're right, no, it's awful as well, isn't it? <laughs> Video piracy? <laughs> who, does, who would even bother doing video piracy nowadays? Do you remember that was always a thing when you was going to a pub, someone would come in and sell you DVDs? No. Do you don't remember that? <laughs> no. You never had that? When, why, well... That was, I, that was like, I would be like eight and I'd be in the pub after the football with my dad and someone would just come in. Uh, usually... Uh, I don't know what pubs you grew up in, Elliot. Uh, and <laughs> but not me. Usually someone would come in and I'd At go... At boarding school in the Lake District. Okay, right, yeah. At would, the fat lamb. They was, they was <laughs> yeah, they would come in and they would like, they would go, oh, I've got DVDs and they would sorry, and it would be all the latest films and it was just pirated DVDs. Oh, Deep, Deep Blue Sea? Yeah. The Mummy Returns? You'd pay like a fiver for it and then you'd go home and it was like kind of potluck of like if it was good or not. it was good or not. And then, uh, you, but sometimes you'd just see people like walking amongst the screen and sometimes you'd have people like having a chat in the corner of the cinema. Yeah. <laughs> you always get that one guy like that silhouette shuffling yeah. by. <laughs> <laughs> you sometimes you'd just be watching a film and it'd be a real intense moment just hear someone eating popcorn yeah. <laughs> but you're in your house. Like. You guys like Titanic and Kate Winslet just does the pain like your French girl and this one bloke's head just pops up. <laughs> <laughs> No, your twelve-year-old self is like that. Ah. Was um, that was that what twelve-year-old you was like? That was the Kate Winslet in Titanic. The first, um, the first new. Is that your first boob? This is a really hor horrendous. Um, this is this is an awful story. We've sidetracked from your story. That's fine. That's fine. We can get back to it. The first naked woman. I, the first crush I ever had was Cindy Crawford, and I found out that she had a topless scene in a film called Fair Game with Alec Baldwin. Or, but so. <laughs> At the time, my grandma was going through the early stages of Alzheimer's. <laughs> this is already way better than my story. <laughs> and so I manipulated my, my, my grandma into taking me down to Blockbuster and buying me a fair game on video. Because I told her that my mum and dad had said it would be fine and she then went... And <laughs> the guy behind the desk knew what I was doing because it was the grandma and she was like, yes, no, this is the right thing to buy him. And I used my grandma's diminishing mental health in order to get <laughs> to have a wank. <laughs> I don't think I even had a wank. I, I, I didn't even be that old. Like I just knew that's what I wanted to see. I was like eleven. You're a monster. It's awful, isn't it? You, you weren't wanking at eleven. No, oh, okay. No, solid. 13 for me. Oh, okay. I found it when I was like seven. Yeah, but that's because you're in the porn generation. Yeah, that's you're, true. We're a different generation. Yeah, but that. Hold on, hold on. Don't put it out like we're, I'm the porn generation. You think, I think my generation had access to porn and we didn't have to get our fucking mental grandma <laughs> to go down a blockbuster and buy us porn. That's something we could just get a hold of it. Like, that's that's not, way better. I'm not proud of that. That's awful. <laughs> yeah. Did she ever tell Come on, then. <laughs> Did she ever tell your parents? When... No, she forgot. <laughs> That's the nature of Alzheimer's. 
<laughs> at that point. <laughs> you used your... Sorry, Graham. Why would you... What, what were the stages of like, it, was there, because there's shame <laughs> after coming. I can't imagine the shame after realising, yeah, I suppose you hadn't. But imagine the shame I after that. I just and watched it again. Was it a good film? No, not really. <laughs> yeah. well, I didn't watch most, I just, you just fast skip, forward. You skip, there it is. On VHS, so you just sat there and yeah, waited yes. till she hit Cindy Crawford. Was it worth it? Cindy Crawford back in the day. Yeah. It was, it was she worth, was amazing. It was, she was worth amazing. using your poor it was my first, It was grandma. my first ever sexual experience was opening a magazine, I think it might have been FHL or something, and seeing her in a bikini on a, like a um, bird's eye view shot of her lying down on a, on a lilo in the swimming pool. And with the, it was something about the, the, the beauty spot. It was that sort of... I don't know who she is. You don't know who, you don't know who Cindy Crawford is? No, I don't know who Cindy Crawford is. Uh, so she's one of the first ever supermodels. Okay. And um, also she had a very famously had a beauty spot right here. So it's like a mole. So something about the, you know how sort of they say that beauty comes with symmetry. So the yeah. more symmetrical you are. So something about her being perfectly symmetrical, but then having this off kilter beauty spot. And that was just. That was it for you. Yeah. Well, that was it for a lot of people. That's why she was so famous. It's sort of, it's a sort of a flaw, but perfectly done in a way. Yeah, I wouldn't no, say it's a plot. It's like it makes her unique. Yeah, 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 exactly. yeah, yeah, so yeah. She was, she was just amazing. Um, this actually goes into the question that we've got. Right. Uh, so this, this is from, <laughs> from, uh, Rayan. I'm so I can't Davis. get over that you used your grandma. You can't just sidestep. This goes into, this goes into the question we've got. Have oh, you ever got oh, your? Oh, comes have, back. Have you ever got your grandma to buy you pornography? No, but. Uh, Rayan uh, Healy, I'm sorry mate, I'm sorry if I've uh, pronounced your name wrong, but Raina, Raina, Sally Raina, uh, who um, you commented, um, you commented first on, our, on, on the last video. Um, she asked, um, what advice would you tell 10 year old you? Oh, that's a very good well, very, I would say. I'd give him, I'd give him like the, the, the like sports, um, what's going to happen in like sports? Oh, you tip him off like so the sports arm and yeah. back of the future too. Yeah, that's what I do. I just, I just. Do you get that reference? Yes, I've seen Back to the Future too. You have. Yes, yes, yes. I've seen one of the most famous films of all time, Tom. You haven't seen one of the most famous good-looking women of all time, so. Cindy Crawford. She, she'll be nineties good-looking. That is a uh, different. Uh, go on. So you, 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 you tip off, I'm just going to get, show you Cindy Crawford, but... Um. Okay, so yeah, I'd, I'd be like, look... I can't really remember anything else. I'd be like, look, France are going to win the 2018 World Cup. Germany are going to lose to 7-1 to Brazil in the semi... Uh, uh, Germany are going to win 7-1 over Brazil in the semi-finals in 2012. Bet big on this. You want to bet big? Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. She went out with Richard Gere, that's who she went out with. Didn't he put a gerbil up his ass? I think, I think that's one of those Jamie Lee Curtis's a hermaphrodite sort of stories. Where Dude, it's there like, was always one that was a hermaphrodite, wasn't there? Do you remember yeah. when there was a girl band? Like it was in Destiny Joe and Push Against Dolls, there's always one that someone would be like, you know that one's actually a man. Yeah. There was always that rumour. Was there a, do you remember Lady Gaga had that rumour? She did, yeah. Lady Gaga had that rumour. There was just always, whenever whenever some a woman got famous, it was like we couldn't accept that a woman was talented. So we went, <laughs> it's like we were secretly an era black. <laughs> like we, couldn't, we just couldn't, like, go, no, no, no. Has to be a guy in the rag. <laughs> yeah. That's such a male thing. Isn't yeah. it? Um, that is like, we're always wild to us with this face, fake thing. Because would you tell that to your 10 year old self? Like, um, you just let them in on all the. Sports, all the lies. Like, you just, you literally are just doing this for money and. Yeah, well, what else, what 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 am I going to tell a ten year old me? Hey, look. Um, Not like work harder at school, learn an instrument. I'd tell mine. I'd definitely tell myself to keep up piano lessons. Would you? Yeah. Yeah. I would. <laughs> you can do that now. You can do piano lessons. Yeah, though. but you you want to get them. You want to get it in. When you can young. soak it in. Yeah. I'm, I think now I'd, it's just all. Yeah, i will just say like. You know, look, in, in about four years' time, Palace are going to beat United 
uh, at Old Trafford, bet big on it. Bet, but get your dad a guy and then bet everything you know. <laughs> this is what you've got to do. And just. And what, so you're gonna leave this? How old do? You, how old was the kid then? Be when it, when it? How old were you when that happened? I was about fourteen when that happened. So you're. Just, then your fourteen-year-old self is how? How are you placing that bet? Well, you see, this is this is a flaw in the plan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've got it. But I'll, get someone, I'll get someone to do it for so me. So you're then going to go to an older boat and go, "Can you invest ten grand in this?" And they're going to go, "No, I'll just be sorry, fourteen-year-old like, boy." I'll just be like, "Look, Who if are you, if you, no, no, me from the future right, came yeah. down and told me this." That's a good point. I haven't thought it through. <laughs> So essentially, I've just ruined a bunch of sporting days that would have made ten-year-old that would have made me happy because yeah. I know what's happened. So I've actually made my life a little bit worse. Yeah, yeah. well done. Uh, I think I, I don't know. I would. Uh, there's nothing that twenty-four-year-old me. Well, I'll just be like, look, you, you stop eating chocolate. That's it's bad for you because I was a chubby kid. Stop that. Yeah, okay. And I'd be like, go for a run, you little fat fuck. <laughs> I love how harsh you are to yourself. Yeah, sort yourself out, you mess. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Um, I think um, I definitely. Oh, I'm trying to think of like if I, cause at ten. I didn't have many problems at ten. Yeah. Like fifteen was about when I started having real problems. So, mm. t- but then if I warned my ten year old self about my fifteen year old problems, I'd have forgotten about it when I'm fifteen. Because I'm also imagining if I if a ten year old me met. Uh, me now would I go oh you look familiar or there's something weird about you I think I think you'd recognise yourself you think you would yeah on yeah um because how how are you going to approach yourself you can't just walk up into a park but you can't how, how are you going to sort of there has to be a mutual you can't break into the house because your parents would be like who the f- yeah, I'm, <laughs> no no I'm, I'm him from the future ah, get out yeah, they wouldn't recognise you, would they? They just think you're this weird. My dad might have a few questions to my mum. This guy says he's your son. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. Um, I don't I'm trying to think about it. What would I? I? There's nothing to. I, I'll just be like, the future is an incredibly bleak place. Your childhood is dwindling. Your teenage years are going to be the best of your life, and they're still going to suck. Yeah. Life is fleeting accept that at 10 yeah and then you'll be over the great disappointment <laughs> that is life don't bother working hard in your job because in 2020 it's going to be a pandemic which exactly. means it all means it, nothing it means anyway nothing anyway <laughs> the world is on fire and nobody is doing anything about it I've come from 14 years in the future and it's we're all going to die horrible horrible deaths <laughs> as billionaires fly away from this planet in search of a new one. <laughs> there you go, kid. And try and persuade your grandma to get you barbed wire as well, <laughs> with Pamela Anderson. <laughs> you, it'll take you till you're 14 to realise that's good, but it really is it's... good. <laughs> be nicer to your grand, be nicer to the old people. Well, that's that's, that's very... why I tell my 10 year old Well, son. no, because in, in 2020, that's very conflicting. Yeah, it is. The economy's... Oh, I don't know.